The ICTY has acquitted Serb Radical Party leader Vojislav Šešer on all counts. Šešer was indicted for war crimes and crimes against humanity between 1991 and 1993, against non-Serb population in Croatia, Bosnia and Herzegovina, and against Vojvodina Kroats for hate speech. Šešer had been on provisional release from the ICTY since November of 2014 due to ill health and had refused to go back to The Hague for the sentencing. In reaction to the Sheshir verdict, Prime Minister Tihomir Oreshkovic said that it was shameful and represented the defeat of the ICTY prosecution. Oreshkovic added that Sheshir had done a lot of evil and had not shown a smidgen of remorse, neither then nor today. The not guilty verdict of Sheshir in The Hague coincides with the marking of the 25th anniversary of the fatal Plitvice Lakes incident at the Plitvice Lakes National Park. The death of Croatian policeman Josip Jovic by Serb paramilitaries is widely considered to be the first casualty of the homeland war. Apart from policeman Jovic being killed, his seven fellow officers were wounded. Prime Minister Tihomir Oreshkovic is currently on a two-day visit to the Vukova area. Oreshkovic toured the memorial cemetery and the mass graves at Ovchara, where he laid wreaths in memory of all the victims of the homeland war. After meeting with the city officials and the mayor, Prime Minister took a walking tour of the city and visited the Stone Cross representing those who fought for Croatia's freedom. Future investments in the area are to be at the focus of Oreshkovic's talks with his hosts over the next 48 hours. It has been announced that Turkish Airlines is to introduce direct flights to Dubrovnik as of May with links to the US West Coast and the whole of Asia. There will be daily flights during high season, but the link will continue throughout the year. In sport, in basketball, Tibona is in Russia this afternoon to play their deciding game versus Russia's NSA in the quarterfinals of the FIBA European Cup. The game started at 2 p.m. And the weather, the afternoon to remain at least partly sunny with most of the cloud and possible rain in the Rijeka area and in Gorski Kotar. Southeasterly winds to strengthen to strong in places, rendering the sea moderately choppy, choppy in the open. Top temperatures between 18 and 21 degrees, a little lower at higher elevations, rising up to 25 in direct sun. Even warmer on Friday, but there'll be some southwesterly winds. Northeasterly winds and a little cooler over the weekend, but temperatures remaining unseasonably warm for the start of April. Rain not expected on Friday, a little possible in Gorske Kotar, while there is a chance of short showers by the end of Friday. Friday mostly dry, apart from Rijeka, where there may be some light rain. High probability of little wetness on Saturday. Southeasterly winds to die down. We'll turn to Bora and the north. Thank you.